Hello and welcome to a new model video. Today we have what once was the best deck in the format probably, Creativity. This is a blueless version, basically junk, but we are trying to harness the power of Leyline Binding. What I really like about this deck is the Thoughtsys plus Persist package. Gives you like an extra punch, so Thoughtsys for the early chip interaction, uh, something to do proactively, like you used to play like spell pierce and so on, but if you are going turn four creativity, that's like not so great, right? <laughs> because you don't have the extra mana. With thought six, you can try to set it up. Uh, Fable and Grand Six, which are like wonderful cards. Especially Grand Six is not so popular anymore, but the card is still awesome. And Bitter Reunion, one thing that I really like about this version is that like <coughs> turn four creativity, more or less the same as in any other version, but later creativities get so much better because you can immediately give haste to Aircon and just attack, go for that double trigger and that should seal the deal. Uh, it's not as powerful as it used to be, but I hope it gets the uh, job done. In Cyborg we get uh, this white package of reprieve and silence for like other combo decks and so on with the planes to try and cast them. Also, Moseyus, Natur's Claim, and in general, stuff against um, Blood Moon and Veil of Summer. This seems to be like the only deck in Modern plays Veil of Summer, which is a fantastic card, but it's so bad against Grief on the draw, right? And then this, which is surprisingly decent against both Born and Libyland, so it really doubles there. So, yeah, let's try this deck, which is just not good anymore. What's the deal with it? We'll see. Okay, so this hand completely and utterly unplayable. Hmm, persist. Persist feels like an underplayed card in modern. But here we are. Okay, let's keep the all lands run six hand, which is actually like pretty decent, I think. Uh let's put that dwarven mine back. Uh, the standard lounge will turn into extra land drops and so on. We'll probably go for, oh, okay, change of plans. I think we are going for a blood creep here. Oh no, cannot be blood creep, right? I mean, yeah, it can be blood creep, but then, we're, oh my god, we're going to take so much damage in this game. But I think <clears throat> clearing the way for Grand 6 to resolve sounds awesome. This could be Merfolk. Whenever I see an island nowadays, I think of Merfolk. I don't know why, it's just quite popular in my online, I think. But it's most certainly Rhinos, probably. Which seems to be like not a great matchup, probably. Yeah. So this hand is whatever. Uh, I will probably take the Fire Eyes and force them to force negation my Grand Six. So life total is relevant versus Rhinos. But the good thing is they cannot really. So they, they can raise you easily, but they cannot really interact with you. So once like sorry, once you get the Archon into play, they cannot really interact. They can totally interact with you, that's the problem, right? Like with force of negation and whatnot. Mm, yeah. Let's take a million damage, resolve this run six and see from there. Actually what we want we really want to resolve is Fable of the Mirror Breaker. This may our opponent may think we don't have land drops, and uh, yeah, exactly. So now, unless they top deck um, Sarlas Agent, we are very fine. But th if this is Sarlas Agent, like, we cannot really win. So that's a problem. Okay, okay. Can I resolve my Fable? This Fable, like, it has to, to be awesome. Yeah. Okay, 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 now I'm feeling great. There's no risk of piling outburst. Even now, if they get the Asarless Agent off, we can find our creativity, go for it, we have the targets. Okay. Let's double this card, uh, probably Sanders Lounge, and we don't really need an extra land, I don't think. So, okay, um, not the greatest. Not the greatest hit ever, but we're fine. We're fine here. 
Fable is very good and our opponent doesn't seem to have a, a cascade. Let's try and resolve run 6 here. Going for that Sanders launch and getting the extra mana into play. The sorry, the extra cycler. Yeah. Okay, Scalding Turn. We are going to start searching for Dwarven Mine like every turn. And just get a, a bunch of one ones with no fury in the format anymore. I'm fine getting the one ones in play. Okay, well opponent still doing nothing and that's still coming next turn, so we still have two draws to find something good. I'm even like I'm going to cycle here using the treasure token. Just get closer to creativity. Okay, Archon. I mean, we have the Goblin Summon, so we can hard cast that Archon soon is. Let me get the Sanders launch again. Put our Mesa into play and attack. Like next turn, with the uh, uh, <coughs> Goblin Summon attacking, plus the Land Drop for the turn, we will have 8 mana for Archon of Cruelty. The only thing we will miss is the a chance to activate Kiki Jiki. Also, our opponent has five cards in hand. What on earth? Let me. Never mind. They have no land drops? What do they have in hand? They can have like red cards, basically, like violent towers, a lot of violent towers. Okay, that's creativity. Uh, I'm going for it. Probably on Goblin Summon plus Treasure Token, something like this. And if this resolves, this will be enough. If it doesn't, well, we are in a, a bit of trouble. They have a, like, they can have a Force of Negation very easily, but also they have used two Force of Negations already, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this was a very weird draw by, a, by our opponent. Okay, versus them. We really want the white cards, like both Silence and Reprieve are great. Uh, I'm very sure we want the Natus Claims and the Vosages for the Blood Moons. So we, we just really want to really load up on uh, answers for their answers. I don't think Bale of Summer qualifies as a card we really want. And what's really bad in this matchup are the Lightning Bolts. Uh, South Prophecy, not so great. Uh, not even Leyline Mining, like... Leyline Mining one random Rhino? I don't think it does anything for us. So let's keep it like this. Run 6 is medium, but you really need Run 6 to function in this deck. So I don't think I'm taking it out. And Leyline Mining is technically an answer for Saga. But for Saga, sorry, for Blue Moon, but it's not. I don't like it. Okay, this seems like a very nice hand. Full of interaction, like silence is so good, right? Like whenever they put a cascader on the stack, you just silence. And we even have the, the white mana to cast it. If also silence versus the oh wow, we even found the Natus claim? Wow, this hand. The only thing it's missing is a creativity, but even with all that, we are very, very good. Uh, we can reprieve them, we can, we can do everything we want. Let me get a good full fields going. <clears throat> sure. That's usually a reason to lead on a fetch slam, but I couldn't really do that. Oh, okay. I kind of wanted us to search for that sacred foundry. Uh, so now the problem would be Blue Moon. This hand right now doesn't have an answer for Blood Moon. But well, I mean, we do have the answer for Blood Moon in our hand. But I'm more scared about, oh wow, Miss Landrop. Yeah, sucks for you. This is another Fire Eyes, I guess. If I have to imagine. Okay, uh, we are doing nothing here. We are just passing the turn. We don't care. Yeah, so our Rhinos opponent not doing so great right here. Very dysfunctional draw, okay. <clears throat> they may have whatever, like I, I don't really care. 
they cannot even play like an upkeep. Wow, they cannot buy an hours because they have double planes. That's crazy. Okay, I'm going to silence in the upkeep. Thus countering both, basically countering their whole turn. Like now they cannot do anything. And if they force of negation this, we can reprieve the crossing footfall. So we are in a wonderful spot here. Just no rush at all. Like easy. Our lane moisturized, thriving. Truly thriving. Okay, Tisana Stybinder, yeah, let me... I will reprieve that just so it's in their hand and we don't have to face it. What is this? Is a Monday. Yeah, I think that's fine. Reprieve that, get deeper into our deck. Okay, that's a lot of Darwin Mines. Let me fetch here now for a trium I imagine. Yeah, Sunday's lounge is fine. So now they cannot cast that food falls. And we know they have the Tisana's type banner in hand. But that's that's it, right? Okay. Uh I'm going to play silence here just like proactively. Play around for some negation. Once we get the Archon in play, I'm going to feel so much better. And they are going to have a tough time beating this. Especially because they have like no clock on board. Had they had something else, maybe, but like this, it's hard for them to stop the Archon. It's hard for them to, to race it, to kill us. I don't know. I feel very fine. They can, of course, use Tide Binder here. Oh, you are another Archon. Okay. I'm going to use Bitter Reunion then. To put the first Archon in the graveyard. I can't even do nothing. Like here, I can just wait. I don't need to do anything. Ooh. Or I can do that. <laughs> okay, opponent. Like, sorry, sorry about that. They may have uh, the Force of Negation we were playing around. So be it. If, if they have the Force of Negation, plus a blue card, plus the Tisana Stay Binder. That's per ah, no, also, oh, I didn't realize they discarded the Tisana Stay Binder. Okay, I don't know why. Also, they didn't. Maybe they have another one. They have to have another one. They didn't play the Starless Agent either. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I have no idea what our one is doing. Do they have fire eyes here? Racing borrower. Okay, but I I mean I, I mean racing borrower is a card, that's for sure. Uh I'm going to play the Dwarven Mind like yeah, playing good foothills for a blood moon, but if they tap out for a blood moon, we just win. So it doesn't really matter. We are on six mana too, so we are not that far away from hard casting the Archon in our hand. Like just two, two turns away. If they let us attack here, we win. Their deck completely broke. Like, that's... That's nonsensical, like, the deck is not functioning. Which is weird, because Cascade is, like, Footfalls is supposed to be, like, this super consistent deck, right? I don't get this. This is the Sun's type binder. So we have a 5-5 five five th that you can block. Okay. I guess better than nothing. Okay. Now next turn we do this the exact same thing. I'm playing the bitter reunion here just to cycle my lands in hand. Okay, we are doing very fine. I 
don't think we can lose this game. Of course, it's turn eight. Our opponent just played the fourth land, and they haven't played a single cascade spell or a single relevant spell, to be honest. Maybe it was too greedy, the reprieve we played there, and we should have kept it for protection. I don't know. Maybe I don't really see it mattering. Is this like another tide binder? Tide binder? The fourth the third one? Has to be. Tide binder is a wonderful card, don't get me wrong, but at this point in the game. It's not that good, huh? Okay, you play, you do that. I play another one and you die. Like, and this was an easy game. Did it, did it. They can have subtlety, like hard cast subtlety here. It's hard cast or a pitch cast. Yeah. Don't matter. Okay, this. Seems like a reasonable hand, right? <clears throat> turn 2, Vita Reunion, turn 3, Persist, plus Haste. We need to find a land, but yeah, we'll get there eventually. Hmm. If this was on the play, I would be very confident we will win the game without like Spell Pierce, Counter Spell, what have you. But on the draw, suddenly, like, anything can happen. I mean, that's not the land we were looking for. I still think it's worth it to search for a Triumph. Mm. We don't have a black-white Triumph like a Sabai, which would be the greatest one here to allow Leyline Binding. Okay, this can be, like, the new Grixis control deck or, like, blue-black... Target player mills 10 cards, so Glimpse. Is, this card is not played anymore, right? Like, Glimpse is unthinkable, it's not a good card. The, the rate is not good enough. Now I'm going to reanimate the Archon on turn 2, and if they have Surgical Extraction, we die. That's basically how it's going to go. So I go Persist, Archon. If they Surgical it, we are dead. I don't think we can legit win, but now I don't think we can lose. I mean, we can, of course, but because they can have like drowning, drowning the lock, such a, a good answer. And we have no more persists, they are all in the graveyard. And there's one indomitable creativity, too. I don't know if you can see this, maybe this is too small. But there are the, the three persists are there. Tasa's Hideous Slaughter hit a bunch of our deck, no Archons. So that's not great. Let me discard your whole hand here. Yeah, Visions of the John. Yeah, no. Nope, nope. Now we attack, you discard your last card, and yeah. We may, faint, we may find <coughs> exactly what I was looking for. La oh! The stomping Ground is in exile. So we may not be able to play Grand Six. At least not this turn. Let me see. I think we only have one stopping round. Yeah, Jamir's well Jamir's Garden will have to do. They have one draw. Like if they draw an answer to Archon, we keep playing. We don't lose, we keep playing. If they don't, we win. Pretty nice. That was a <laughs> hand. Of course, like had they had surgical Astraction, I think like we are so we would have been well, done. Um uh, Samperman, what do you have for me? Yeah. Winning games winning winning okay so we really want this turn the air thing just up to three target cards and shuffle them, also the Veil of Summer. And I don't really care about the Lightning Bolts, but I care less about Lay Lay Mining, I think. Like even less. So something like this should do. So Lightning Bolt at least kills the grabs. 
if they have them, but they may not. And I don't really want to bring the reprieve because it's not great for our mana, so let's go. Okay, every hand with persist is going to be a great hand against an opponent that's trying to mill us out. Also, we have the turn the earth. This is pretty cool. Okay, uh, I could do the classic go to my instep, discard Archon of Cruelty. I don't think that's needed versus blue black mill. Like they are trying to mill us out, so let them. Both games, they have done nothing on turn one. Like nothing. So weird to me. Okay, I'm going to fetch. Like they may have. Um, Archive prop. So be it. Actually, we kind of want it, right? Because of the persist line. Okay, uh, I'm going to play round six and try to ride that to victory. This may or may not work. We will find out. Is this resolving? May not. Okay, it does. Uh, let's take the good. It doesn't really matter because we only have mountains in our deck. We don't have any basics beyond one basic mountain. So the reason for bringing basic planes that I didn't mention is Phil Ruin, which they usually play a bunch of. Okay, cycling fractal sanity, hitting thoughts, fable, creativity, and one and six. So weird. if they hit Archon, it's going to be so annoying for us. But because only if they have a surgical, sorry. But if they don't, we like we kind of want them to hit it so we can persist it back. The idea will be to persist with Turn the Earth available. So if they surgical, we can at least shuffle it back into a deck. We still have creativity in hand, so we are Ready for that, they went top top with that preordain. That's scary. What a rave into nothing. Okay, I mean I'm ready to battle that. So that's fine for me. Here we did the classic. Yeah, I'm going to Oh, I should have played that scaling down. I'm going to discard the Archon of Cruelty to try and persist it next turn. If they try to surgical, we have the turn the air. That's fine. Also, we don't have more green mana in the deck. Which makes sense because green mana is only for grand six. But it's only jet mirrors and stomping around. Surgical extraction that I'm going to turn the earth it. That and the fable. Oh and the thought cheese. I, I cannot really want to draw thought cheese. This basically that great exiling creativity from our graveyard is going to foil our plan of discarding because they will take the one in our hand. So this way at least we have more relevant cards in our deck and we don't lose the creativity which is our next plan. Okay, so solo I line turn very annoying. Let me. That Jeremy's Garden, ha having drawn that is a bit. It's quite annoying actually. Let me get the Blood Crypt, I guess. I really like this Jand version. I, I think it's more streamlined. That classic creativity with all the colors. Okay, are you Ghost Quarter in me? No? Hmm. Am I going to play Indomitable Creativity? You know, I may not. I may just go for good food heals. Like, there's no reason to. They're not doing anything, they're not pressuring us. I may just take a Dormant Mine and up my Ren. They, they probably have something, <laughs> like some kind of removal spell or. Okay. That's weird. I mean, we only have one basic land in our deck. So that's annoying. But fine, yes. 
Let me get the Sanders launch back to my hand so I can cycle it and I will cycle it like right now. Get our car advantage coin, you know. Here I'm not going to discard Archon because of Soul Lantern. Just going to discard random Arid Mesa or whatever. They try to use the lantern to exile our graveyard. Okay, draw a card. And now I'm discarding Archon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think we're doing fine. They can have um just a surgical estripate. That's basically surgical extraction with split second. That would be annoying. <clears throat> that would be extremely annoying actually. Let me get my blood script going and let me get my Sanders launch into my hand first of all. Now I'm going to try and persist this back. Can I do that? Do you have an answer? Drowning the lock. Sure thing. That's completely fine. Let's attack for one. I could have played a fetch land to have more dwarf tokens. Maybe that, that was better. I'm playing the blood crypt. Hmm. I'm sure on that one. Okay, that Phil of Ruin is going to be annoying. I don't think I want to take any action here. Just take my draw. I'm not going to use the Uren Ultimate yet. Would be nice to resolve it, but it's not like they can really, really do anything about it. So I'm fine like this. Mm, I will try to play creativity. Always keeping the mana up for turn the earth. So only only for one. They can feel a ruin our stomping ground, that would be annoying. This is countering the spell. Okay, let me do. Let me try one thing. Let me try to do this. This. Let me try to do this. This this will work, right? Taking out three cards from my graveyard because they chose to counter rather than to. Now we all have enough cards in the graveyard for the counter effect to go. That was a misplay on their part. Like that, that play was face up. That was a, a complete misplay on our opponent's part. We take those. <laughs> As I always say, we take those. I left the Archon and the Persisting in the graveyard because next turn we will want to go like Grand Ultimate Persist. Also, we need we only needed to take out one card. Mm, discarding random scalding turn, I don't really care. Could this, technically, I should discard good foothills, that's the one our opponent knows about. I think we are fine like this, and this seems to be a win. But they may disagree with me, they have two cards in hand. No real way to kill an Archon without our graveyard being more full. They can have like Go for a throw, something of the like. If that's the case, I still think we win. In next turn, we we have Uren Ultimate and a bunch of Lightning Bolts. We have the Archon they have to deal with. And it feels so ahead. Okay. 
let me get the ultimate going ASAP. They have Tisana Stai Binder, well, they will stop it. <clears throat> now, let, let me try an attack and see what they do. This is the kind of game where they should um, change into like a prison like deck. So they are not fast enough to kill us, probably, but they can try to like, well, like surgical everything and all that, but they didn't really do anything. They didn't have the right interaction or, and they totally messed up with that drowning the lock, which didn't really matter since we already have the Gren going for the ultimate, so well. Cho Cho, huh? Maybe the deck is not so dead after all. Okay, this hand sucks. Unless the top of our deck is a Sally Persist, but I, I, I don't think it's worth it. We don't have, we have like two dead cards. We don't really have any extra outs. Yeah. Because like, yeah, we totally go like, hey, this is a uh, Persist. Yeah, thoughts is myself, Persist. But any other position, we are like such in a bad spot. Okay, Ragavan Nimble Pilferer. Usually, Ragavan is a terrible card versus creativity in general. <clears throat> you are this mixture of cheap removal spells, run and six deck, so on and so on. So, yeah, let me kill that. We're killing it now because if they um, reanimate it with not there after all or whatever, then the run six cannot kill it. Mm, if this is another one, we are happy. Yeah. Oh my god, did you keep a one lander with Ragaman on the play? I guess that's a defensible play. I'm going to fetch for basic mountain here. I want to take too much damage. When you have Grand Six and you know you have fetch lands coming forever, you are going to take a bunch of damage. Like every turn, you are going to lose at least one life, right? So. And we don't really have anything to cast other than mono red cards. Uh, scam was one of the reasons creativity stopped being played because what well, um, you can they are a grief deck which is awesome against you, but they are also a blue moon deck which is also awesome against you, and they have very nice disruption in the form of like um, Dauthi, which makes run six terrible, and they just like it really lines up against us. Of course, if they keep a one lander and then they do nothing after that, whatever, you know. Yeah, you can fatal push my goblin summon token. That's, that's not going to make it. Okay, that's not going to cut it. Let me discard both lands. Find something maybe. Okay, found a creativity. I'm going to play Ren here. just to get my extra land drops and this will be a creativity for two next turn and that's that's a win usually could have gone for the fable but i think this is better and this has to be better i i don't think playing bitter reunion there matters mm, i don't really want to discard mm, anything in my hand and uh, like now even if they have a blue moon okay that one is annoying uh, that one is annoying, but we are going to play the Fable game against them, and without Fury, they cannot really come back. So... <laughs> they just kept a one lander and didn't work out, so yeah. Is this a Dau Dauthi? No, if this were a Dauthi, they, they would have played it before. Okay, destroying uh, our run 6, that's fine. That was a very, a very solid turn for our opponent. Still, we are going to flip this Fable, play another one. And we are playing the fair game, which is what made Creativity a great deck, that it had a really solid fair plan. That's the main attractive for Creativity, it has always been. Uh, I don't, I'm going to play David Mesa because I like the idea of having extra mana in play. So now they only have two cards left in hand. This is the point where they will go, okay, now I Fury, kill everything and and they are back in the game, but now they cannot really do it. Yeah, I think we got this one. 
Which is nice because this is not a good matchup. Okay, on the draw, uh, we really want the Flame Slash as an extra removal. We want the Natus Claim for Blood Moon and the Bill of Summer because, well, they are a black deck. After all, I don't really think we need Thought Seas against them. Seems very bad. We, and we want the planes just to fetch it for Leyland Binding. Uh, what else don't we want? Lightning Bolt is great, it kills everything. I, I'm not sure we want Boseju, I guess we do. Boseju has to be decent, as Blood Moon. The problem with Boseju versus Blood Moon is we don't have a basic forest to play. It. Let's take at least one land out now, at this point. Shadow Prophecy is fine. Persist has to be medium, actually. Versus Douthi and everything. So maybe not all the Persist. Same with the Bitter Reunion. Uh, we could take out another land, but it's not like Boseju really counts as a land. Uh, no, let's not take Mesa out. Let's take like a Scalding Tarn. I don't love taking out Fetch lands when we are around 6 deck. So maybe that's a mistake. Yeah, the problem with Boseju in this matchup is, as I mentioned, like we don't really have the, um, the Bay Forest. Like when you are Amulet, you just sort of find a forest and then you Boseju, that's fine. But here it's like, what, what are we doing? Okay. Oh, Natus Claim. That's awesome. Natus Claim wants me to fetch for a Sabai Triumph. <laughs> Actually, no. We really want. Uh, we need black, green. We need a Jant Triumph. We don't have. I'm not going to fetch, basically. That's the whole thing here. Okay, second fetch land. Now we can get the Triumphs going. Because we want the black mana for the persist and the green mana for the Natus claim. We have neither. If they just go land blue moon, if their whole hand is land blue moon, this is going to be very nice for us. Okay, at least they have the bowmasters. Happy we didn't play Bitter Reunion, which I don't think was a great play <laughs> anyway. If they just pass the turn, we will. I, I really hope they just land blue moon here. Fable. I may want to not just claim that. Fable is very good. Killing it is very good. It may come back, back to bite us. I could wait. Take my turn. We don't really have a 3 mana play here. But if I draw Fable, I would really like to play it. I think I'm killing their Fable. I don't want them discarding and stuff. Now we have the Bitter Reunion, which I don't really want to play. Because if we play Bitter Reunion, we are taking damage from the Bowmasters, and that sucks. Yeah, I don't think I can justify Taking th four star damage, so two for the from the trigger and two more from the orc army in there. Okay, next turn we are going to try to resolve our first creativity and then the second one. After that, so they can have grief if they go hard cast grief, we are fine. That really doesn't really affect us. If they go basically any other thing, we are dead. Like Blood Moon, dead. Removal spell on our token, dead. Uh, yeah, double discard, dead. So this is tough. Okay, this is, as I mentioned, this is hard cast grief. We are fine because we have the second creativity. They can have push or lightning bolt, and that will suck. But such is life. Such is life. Okay. 
I kind of have to go for it because we are super dead if not. We try. Yeah, just the one. If this resolves, at least we have a chance, but I don't think it will. Ooh, we did resolve. So now, now we are talking because, well, uh, we get our trigger, that's awesome. And now if they kill it, we can persist it back, which is also awesome. And after persisting back, we can play Bitter Reunion and give it haste. So, wow. I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> so, most certainly not. And this is another grief. We can beat another grief. That's fine. They are going to take the persist, I imagine. Yep. Bowmaster is very good and Starcon. Very good. Like for being a two mana play versus an eight mana play, yeah, it's very good. Mm hmm. Okay. So if they have the molten collapse here or the terminate. If they have the no, they don't have terminate because they are not attacking with everything. So they may have molten collapse. That's the only thing they may have. I'm blocking regardless. Like what I'm going to do, not block. If they have the molten collapse, doesn't matter if I block or not. Well, it does matter for us. Okay. Okay. That was a solid draw. Mm. What do I want to do? So if I attack, they sack the army token. Yeah. I could pay three life, go down to five to Leyline Binding that Orkis Bowmaster. We are at five. Attack, go up to eight. They have to sacrifice the army token. Discard, they have two griefs against our hand. I think that's better. Oh, we have the planes. Yeah, yeah, we brought in the planes. Wow, perfect. So Oof, that that extra life is going to be so relevant. This the extra life here is going to be game changer. Yep, let me now attack freely. And now we are so much safe, so much more safe than we were before. And also like they are dying next turn, so we will be at ten life. They will have not. Uh, oh, uh, we went through the flame slash. Awesome. Okay, uh, we got this one. Like easily. Archon is such a great clock. Like so fast, right? <laughs> Let me discard blood crypt here. Find another removal spell, maybe. Nope. But now, even if they kill Archon, we can go like. Fable, try to haste it, and yeah, they didn't kill Arco. Okay, I mean, haven't lost a game. The deck is bad, whatever. <laughs> okay, so this hand is fine because we have like Lightning Bolt and Gren plus in the meta of creativity. So, really, creativity is a one card combo, right? Because you just need Fetch Lands, but it's truly like a two card combo because it's like creativity plus Gren and six. What really makes it tick? Okay, another scam. And again, we have the answer for it in the form of Lightning Bolt. I'm going to fetch for a basic mountain here. Maybe make them think we are born. Another option was going like Scalding Tarn into Steam Bend, so they think we are. Uh, what's the other deck I'm thinking about? Murtide. But yeah, this is fine. Let me get stomping ground. They, pro they probably have uh, bowmasters, which is very good at killing Ren. But also, we like we really need to do this. Also, like it doesn't really kill the Ren, right? Takes it down to three, attacks it down to one. Then we can get another land if we want to, or we can kill the bowmasters. That's up to us. If this is a fable, we may go like kill bowmasters, kill fable token with the lightning bolt. If this is a blood moon, we are dead. <laughs> like at any point, 
in this game Blood Moon will kill us, unless we find Sally Fable. Okay, they have their own Fable, so yeah, let's kill Bowmasters, let's kill the Fable token, and keep the... I don't think, like, we have so many lands, there's no need for for any other play. Let's play the Jetsmir's Garden. So next turn... This is a problem, right? It's so impossible to resolve a creativity against this deck. Like now, without Fury, they have more instant speed removal spell. Sometimes like they play more Terminates or they play more Fatal Push, Lightning Ball, what have you. So it's even harder to resolve a creativity, I think. Because before they relied a lot on Fury for the removals, so... Oh, that Persist would have been decent, I think. Maybe not. Maybe it's better to have it aside. What if they go, they decide to just... Inquisition? No, it hits, it hits creativity just, just perfectly. Okay, so at least that Raban came in like way too late. So we are going to play the... Haha, <laughs> I have Dwarven Mind to block your Dragoban kind of game. And if we draw an answer for that Fable, like basically another Lightning Bolt, we may have a chance to win this game. So if we draw our own Fable, that would be nice. This is Eldred the Apocalypse, okay? I mean, that's annoying, but it's not like really scary, right? We have we can jump block it for a band and um, for a bit. Are we dashing Raban here? Yeah, I mean, um, okay, we are going down to eleven. So that is a very fast clock, but we could also draw Leila Binding and be happy. We could. I mean, also if we draw creativity, that would be nice. I don't want to get hit by that Ragaban. Like, yeah, if I knew for sure I was drawing creativity, sure. Hit me, I will creativity for two and win the game, but that's not how anything works, right? Okay, well, I mean, this is not like the worst spot ever. Let me kill the Fable. We did ask for a Fable answer, so we got that. Now we can jump block again. Go down to eight, seven, five with our draw step. The one ring, okay, so like a bigger scam deck. So the one ring is a problem because we cannot, it stops the Archon. That's another reason why creativity went out of fashion for a bit. The ring is a real problem right here. They may not even be like a real scam deck, right? Like playing Wandering, playing Silver. So, what we really need is Leyline Binding for Silver, and then later we will try to resolve our Archon of Cruelty. We are not even close to the 8 mana necessary to play the Archon, which is one of the problems of Archon being what, so expensive, right? Yeah, I think we are dead. I'm, I, can, I think I can confidently say we're not winning this one. Had we drawn, like, right here, an answer for Seldred? <sighs> Maybe. Like, now we need two more lands to play Archon, and those lands have to be, like, black lands, so... Blood Crypt and Sanders Lounge, for example. Yeah, not dead. Okay, uh, we were a bit destroyed, but also, like... We just kind of flew it out. We, like, we played a bunch of removal spells. We played Ren, which was kind of a two for one, but that's about it. Okay, so a bigger version of Scam, I guess. Still think I want the Flame in the Earth thing. I don't want the Thoughtseize. I don't think so. I like Bale. Reprieve is better if they're playing one ring and Sullivan. Nato's claim is still good. Yeah, maybe I want the reprieve now. That's this version. Still not in love with Persist and Reunion. 
especially reunion, yeah, like those seem very bad. Yeah, I think I'm going like this. I don't want the Bosages and a ring deck. Maybe on the draw we really need Bosayu because we have to kill the Blood Moon. So Bitter Reunion versus the the thing is it's a May, so you can play Bitter Reunion and if they oh, if they don't answer okay, let me have one extra Bitter Reunion. Still also a draw engine. Flooding out is a real problem when you play Grand Six. That's what Fable is very good in this deck, right? If you get a bunch of lands with Ren, then you discard them with Fable. But Bitter Reunion does that again. I could take out one Archon, only play three, when we are taking out the Persist and the Bitter Reunion. Maybe on the draw we do, we do that. Yeah, so this hand sucks, but I'm going to keep it. Because it, it has turn two Grand Six, it has Shadow Prophecy to draw extra cards, like this card is awesome. Against a Black Red mid range deck. But it seems like it. The only thing it doesn't have is an answer for Blood Moon. Celabi. Let me get Jadmir's. Wow, another one? That's a problem. Here I'm going to get a Blood Creep to have all of my colors. Play the Ren. Pick up this one of these was a uh, Arid Mesa. I could at least take a planes for Leila Mining. That would be decent, I guess. Now Leila Mining is two mana. Wow, like, I mean, Pathway makes me think they do not play Blood Moon. Like, you know. Okay, let's take Scalding Darn. Mm, probably Leila Mining that Douthi is a great idea, especially if they put a Thoughtseize on the stack. That's going to be a necessity. Rather than just a, a good or bad, bad plan. Hmm. Well, we lost our first game. It was about time, I guess. So this could be a Blood Moon, like, very well, but... Yeah, I'm fine with explosives. So I find this version of creativity, like, how many creativities have we resolved? No, not really, right? Like, we haven't really cared about it. We're going to play this. We're going to grind them. Like, we're going to play Jan. The classic Jan game. Exile, that Douthy. So, this is a grand game. Also, what are they going to do now? Keep up to mana forever for the explosives no <laughs> seems not uh, so we have fetch in response that was a misplay sanders lounge yeah so totally have fetch in response oh i can do that i like <laughs> kind of like that but also i kind of like just shadow prophecy here if I find another, another Leyline Mining, that would be awesome. The only problem with doing it is... There's a bunch of cards going to the graveyard. Yeah, I'm going to kill the Dalthy. I have decided. They can have the Reanimator. They're not dead after all, or whatever. Similar effect. This is a bit inefficient with our mana. But you really want to go Shadow Prophecy into Persist. We have taken out some number of Persist tokens. Persist tokens, what I'm talking about. We have taken out some number of Persist, so that's not the greatest, of course. Also, I really thought they had Fatal Push because if they didn't have Fatal Push, they may not have tapped out for Engineer Explosives. May have been like too risky or something. Okay, nothing? I'm fine with nothing. Let me do this. Okay, we are looking very fine in this game. Being on the plane, this matchup makes Ragavan un completely unplayable. Ooh, Bale of Summer and... I'm probably taking creativity here. Yeah. Let me get Stomping Ground going. No need to take any damage. 
Okay, we are looking fine. This is going to be your 8 mana hardcast Archon game. I don't have... I, I have no doubt about that. Okay, that's annoying. Killing our run. I may Leyline Binding the Bowmasters. That's something I may do here. Yeah, I cannot want that Gren alive, so let me do it. So, could have gone for the explosives, I guess. No, that may have been better. Oh, another Bowmasters, but they are tapping out? Mm, okay, in that case, we are going for the Indomitable Creativity. Yeah. They are completely tapped out there, so let me get my cre creativity juice flowing. I mean, our opponent missing land drops help us to win the game, that's for sure. Okay, and we have the Veil of Summer. It's protection. <sighs> with the trigger, with the Archon trigger on the stack. I could exile that. Yes. I'm going to exile the Bowmasters so they don't go like Bowmaster, make another token, and the Archon is a bit better. And they have like one answer in the deck for Archon, and we have the Veil of Summer for that. And they don't have lands. So, like, we are winning this game. Yeah, play a land, sure. Are you going to Molten Collapse? Seldred? So that is fine, but we attack with Archon. The One Ring, sure. The One Ring is annoying. It's not awesome or anything, just annoying. And like next turn, we are playing Archon of Cruelty. Uh, attacking doesn't do anything because they have the Ring Protection. They can start drawing with the Ring, but without a Seldred, that's not going to be very effective. And even with Seldred, next turn we are going to attack with Archon and play another one from hand. And we effectively ground our opponent out. They had like double Douthy, that's fine, but we found triple Leyline Binding for removal spells. Also like, Orkis Master is not great against us, like, it's just whatever. And, and they, it seems they kept all of them. Uh, huh. I don't want to change anything in my cyborg. I may take out a Persist and an Archon. I'm fine like this, I think. Yeah. Uh, this seems like a very solid hand. It's not even weak to Blood Moon because we have the Blood Moon answer. The only thing is missing, like, yeah, it's missing a creativity, but can you really mulligan to a creativity hand versus a, dis a heavy discard deck? They were even playing Inquisition, of course, like game one. This seems to be like a red black deck maybe they don't even have uh the maybe this is like red black midrange right no scam so we will see now they are going to scam us and we're going to die and i'm going to eat my words okay ragavan can i draw lightning bolt nope i cannot <laughs> okay uh yeah that's annoying i could go ragavan connecting is very good of course like we all know that. But I think this deck can really beat Ragaman. It just do things that go way over the top of Ragaman. And what you have to do with Ragaman is uh, make, make real use of that extra mana to pressure and disrupt much better, right? So like a Murtai that would mean, hey, I have extra counter spells. So I can counter more, more than one of your things. Uh, with this kind of decks, it's going to be more pressure and like an extra discard spell here or there. That's what it's what it should be at least. This can be turned to Blood Moon. Extremely annoying, of course. That doesn't seem like a turn to Blood Moon. Inky. I'm going to play the Veil of Summer. In response to Inquisition of course, like. That seems like a wise thing to do. Like why why do I have the Veil of Summer if it's not to play it in response to a a discard spell and our 2 for 1 with this card that is basically banned in every other format well those formats being hmm. 
standard and pioneer. I'm going to kill Ragavan with a Sacred Foundry, take a bunch of damage while doing so, and die with a bunch of Natus Claims in my hand. That's that's the plan. I'm just going to die to Darcy Boy Walker attacking four times. We have four Lightning Bolts plus four Leyland Bindings in our deck to fight it, but yeah. I did that just to keep this. Stopping round Natus Claim line open, but well, maybe I suicide. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm doing that thing at least for now. I mean, I may do it later. So, we have seen Seldred being, being one of their plays, so I kind of want to have the reprieve up for both Seldred or the One Ring. They may tap out for the One Ring because, well, it's great, right? Like. If they play the One Ring, we cannot really... I, can, I cannot let that resolve. That will really punish us. They need... They have one card left in hand. It has to be the One Ring and a land. So either or, and the other one has to be drawn. I think we're fine then. And now if they want to keep Douthy up to play that Persist, that's totally fine. One problem we may have is, well, Bowmasters is a very good answer for our Dwarven Mind tokens. So that would be extremely annoying. Mm, we drew Lightning Ball, which is one of the cards we needed. Mm, other card we need includes, well, Creativity, includes um, Leyline Mining. We are down to 6 life here. Okay. So I think the plan is to go Dwarven Mine, go, kill that thing. I want to take extra damage here. I'm going to kill the token, we will kill the Douthy and Shadow Prophecy down to 4 life, down to 2 life. Now we're dying. <laughs> we're completely dying. They are tapped out, so this seems like the best moment to do this. But if we don't resolve that Sal Prophecy, how are we winning? I don't even know what I want to hit with the Sal Prophecy. Like another Barber Mine. Yeah, we are not in a great spot. They have three cards in hand, no lands. I mean, they could keep a, they could have kept a land in hand. Just to represent something, but I, I don't think so. Hmm. The attack will go down to 4, South Prophecy go down to 2, and then what? Depends on what they do. We need them to tap out here, or like a Fable. That's not going to be good enough, right? They most certainly have a removal spell in hand, but I don't know how I'm winning otherwise. So we could hit Fable and Natus claim our Fable to gain life. This could be a Lightning Bolt. If they have Lightning Bolt, we're dead, of course, but we're dead to almost anything <laughs> and everything. Uh, so Binding is fine. Can... It's a 2 mana play. Vita Reunion is also fine. Okay. If they have the Lightning Ball, please. What? Just play it. <laughs> okay, so we can Leyline Binding for 2, hit the Bowmasters, and then Vita Reunion, and if we hit a land, Reprieve, huh? Okay, so I need to do this. If they have another Bowmasters, we are dead. I could technically Leyline Binding the Orcish, the Orc Army, and then not to claim my Leyline Binding, but this is similar. I, like, I don't want to do it. 
And if they have another bow master in hand, we are dead regardless. We need it instead of this is a brief, we need it um the other one. Okay, we are dead to another bow masters. I completely dead here. We need it a dwarven mine. Had we drawn dwarven mine, we had a chance. Ah, sweet. Okay, no 5 0 for us. Okay, let's get the last one. Okay, so this is a bad matchup, but I think we could have won. I don't know, I feel very desperate. Had we drawn dwarven mine this very turn, we could have gone like bitter reunion. With the Dwarven Mine token, not discard anything, just Natos claim it, go up to enough life. Oh, already have the. So we go up to enough enough life, and we try to combo next turn with another bitter room with another land. Yeah, something like that, something like that. But we didn't. So, mm. so hitting like. The idea of hitting the token and then Natus claiming our line mining, I don't think will work. But maybe that was a line. So we ended up at one. We'll have gone up to five and they will have three power. So attack us down to two. But then they have two bow masters in play. So how are we beating that? This hand seems terrible because it has no interaction. So the problem with this deck is you really need the interaction because you you can only go off on turn four. One thing that has been interesting is every time we have resolved an archon, we have effectively won. Is this the third scam deck in a row? Huh. So archon is not at its as its best at at its best now. But every time we have resolved an Archon, effectively we have won. So that's fine. But, well, I scan the problem is you don't get to resolve the Archon, right? That Ragaman. Hit the lightning ball we needed. It's always so infuriating, right? Ragaman hits you and it's like the card you wanted to throw. Always, all the time. Happens, of course. Could have been below that and sometimes it happens like it takes out a bad draw from your, the top of your deck and you just draw the good one can i get a good card here yeah that's not it i'm going to play a bit of reunion cycle through my lands try to find something good discard this okay leila mining is good fable is good We are behind. Like usually, we are good against Ragavan because we have a bunch of removal spells and and so on. But if it connects, turn one and then hits you with a fable. <clears throat> Tough times. Now we are so behind on mana and on board. <laughs> you can play the South Prophecy, of course. Discard spell. Okay, hit my creativity, I guess. Probably the next turn is we could play our fable, or we could play like Leila Mining. Ideally, we draw Lightning Bolt so we can go Leila Mining for one, Lightning Bolt for the other one, which uh, with a triumph, clear the board at least a bit. Uh, that sounds like okay, a good idea. Okay, they took out the removal spell. They probably have a fatal push. If they have like just a fatal push, there's not much we can do with our creativity. Also, it's, we still need another turn for the creativity to to pop. Dowsy? They are playing the, the Sad Prophecy? <laughs> awesome. No. Ah, uh, Seldred. Grief. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. How do we get out? I thought it ran 6 wouldn't be a bad draw. Killing Ragavan, make them attack it. And that's not that's not what we wanted. 
Uh, we'll play Fable and die. That's basically our plan. To play La Fábula del Rompespejos. And then die. Yeah, that, this this was the classic game why Ragavan is good, right? It just made a lot of mana and let them play ahead of the curve. Like like basically a verse of paradise that attacks for four. So yeah, a way better birds. K command, yeah, sure. Let me scar something around. Are we dead? Not yet. We go down to four, and most certainly they're going to have a removal spell in hand, right? Uh, is there anything that saves us here? Uh, I don't think so, like Anger of the Gods, we don't play it Anger of the Gods will save us I mean as a start yes, I want to discard actually the, the answer was drawing Archon and discarding it and drawing Persist yeah, that was the real answer here not taking damage sounds good but I think we are dead regardless right well if they have a land in hand so now they are going to sacrifice what we are not dead actually ah they have the fatal boost even wow <laughs> terminate okay sucks yeah it had it had to be the other line yeah <laughs> Wow, we got we got destroyed. That was tough. So we said, Nature's claim, flame slash, Nature's claim, veil of summer, veil of summer, planes take out random fetch land, take out a bit of the persist packet. Yeah, something like this. I like this. No, no, I don't like thoughts, right? I don't like thoughts, especially on the play. They seem very bad. So let's bring Boseyu. Let's bring this and this. I guess persist is better than meter reunion. Okay, I was thinking maybe turn the earth is worth it to avoid being scammed. I don't know. This is a solid hand. Like if we had turned the earth here, we could go like stomping ground go. Ah, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, let's not get scammed. Uh, oh. We get scammed, we are dying. If they play Ragavan, which shouldn't be in their deck, most probably we are super happy, of course. If we draw a Fetchland for Run 6, that's nice. If we get to play Run 6, of course. Mm, this seems like a discard spell. Please don't be grief. Yes, thoughtsies. Porco dio. Que cazzo. Mm, mamma mia. Mamma mia. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We are not dead. We have the Leyline Binding, which is a solid removal versus grief. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, Leyline Binding out. They may take Fable because like Renan 6 is not doing much and if we play Renan 6 they can just attack it so they will take Fable here I guess okay that's a 3-2 not a 4-3 wow that changes a lot first of all the clock is way worse and it doesn't click kill Renan 6 so that's way better for us I hate Malak is revered like so much I think it's so such a bad card like, even playing it as a tap land is not really worth it. So yeah, I'm very, very happy. Very happy, like Sidrunas. Sabicas. 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 I don't know how to pronounce the last name actually. Land. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to take a bunch of damage here, but at least I'm going to get my value. And we are all about value here. Uh... I think the black, the black car, 
black card. The black land is the best. Wow. Well, like now, we, we, we get an extra activation of Grand Six, so this is two lands for, for us. We didn't have the Arid Mesa, to be fair. So, in that regard, our opponent was kind of right to let the Ren go. Are we attacking Ren or are we attacking Face? Yeah, we're attacking Ren, which makes the clock so much worse. Is this Bone Masters? Okay. So, Ren is bye bye. Can I draw something good? That counts. Uh, since we already have the Dwarven Mine and another land in hand. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I messed up. I messed up. This is why I don't like Natus Claim in this deck. It's so hard to have double green up. Now they can play Blue Moon and we die. No. But. Okay, so I shouldn't have played the Mountain. I wanted to play the Mountain. I, I was thinking I play the Mountain, play Ren, and then have Natus Claim up. But yeah, I need the, the green mana. So I should have played the Arid Mesa at least and get a fetch land here for like the. Um, I would say. It, uh, what's the. A Trium. Get a fetch land for a Trium. Okay, so our opponent didn't do much. They missed a land drop there. We have an answer for Blood Moon. And we have an answer for Engineer Explosives. Which I may go for it now. So we draw creativity here. That would be like the best draw in the world. So I think I'm not just claiming that Engineer Explosives. Um going Arid Mesa like fetching now. That makes sense to me. Because I don't want to, to draw a door by mine, right? So even if it's a very small chance, I think it's right to thin out the door by mine from our deck. You beautiful genius. Okay. They can have double fatal pulse and that would be annoying. But it's not that like I can do much about it without a uh, Veil of Summer. Even, even with Veil of Summer, like, I couldn't play around it. They may have nothing, or one Bowmasters. I was thinking about one Bowmasters. That's completely acceptable. <sighs> okay. So this is the, the point where I'm thinking, hey, maybe I should have more pers persists in my deck. So I can, I can draw them after you kill my Archon. So maybe we want the full Persist package. But it seems so hard to resolve a creativity and get an Archon into play. But I guess if we get that going, at least we want to be able to reanimate the Archon when they kill it, because they are going to kill it now. Of course. That's not killing my Archon. I can beat this. I'm confident I can beat this. Very confident in that. Can I draw something good? Yeah, that doesn't count. We're attacking, of course, because, I mean, this is a two-turn two clock, and we go up to 14, so we're far away from losing. Also, we're drawing extra cards, getting our opponent low. So, low on cards, I mean. They discard the Fable. What do they have? They don't have an, an answer for the Archon, because they would have played that. They do not have... They could have a... What 3-drop are you keeping in your hand? Maybe another Bowmasters. That could be. I don't think so, but that could be it. Uh, I'm going to... I just realized I should have Boseju that Blood Creep because they don't play more red sources. So I will do it now. Mid-combat. Well, before... Well, I will block first, I guess. Block Ragavan. Ah, oh, well, Boseju. No, no, this is Boseju, not Feel of Ruin, what I'm talking about. They can just 
search for another blog script. So yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> don't do that. Okay, that was good and that was fine. Now on the draw, much harder. Mm, way harder. I think we don't really want to change anything. Okay, this is actually a very decent hand. We have a turn two ley line binding, which is a decent one. It's weak this is weak to turn one Ragaban which this may be, and every hand we have on the draw is weak to grief. Okay, there's the Ragaban. The Ragaban is solid, it's just not so great. Okay, let's play the Garden. We could be hit, get hit by... um, Like, we haven't faced a single Blood Moon in this league, and I'm always scared of it because like it's just bonkers against us. Our thing. Our deck is four colors, effectively, and we cannot fancy them. It's so weird because our card, no, our special card is Domitable Creativity, basically a mono red card. And suddenly they play Blue Moon, and you cannot fun fancy them because Darwin Mine becomes unplayable. Okay. Ah, suit. Can I draw nine and six? Is that too much to ask for? Just one to kill that Ragavan. At least we have the Shadow Prophecy, which is good to rebuild. The problem is, well, it's 2 life and 3 mana. When you are under pressure, it's not the greatest thing in the world. Come on, come on, come on, let me... Yeah, they took the creativity. Let me draw Ren. Ren, and 6. Ren, and 6. Lightning Ball, Ren, 6. Ren, 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 Ren. Persist with no Archon. Sucks. Sucks to be me. I guess I will fetch before the Rogaban hits to get um, the Triumph so they cannot really play it. The only good thing about Persist is we can go end of turn, Shadow Prophecy, Persist. And it's really hard to interact with that. Like, creativity is very easy to interact. Double good of heals. This is Douthy. Now it's very easy to interact with our Persist. Yeah, not great for us. Let, let me get this going. Yeah, so now Shadow Prophecy sucks. Actually, like, it's fine as a 2 for 1. Oh, okay, that makes it way better. I need to kill that Douthy. Like, there's, there's no way we win this game with Douthy being there. I, I will kill it now. Response to the Bowmasters. Okay, taking a bunch of damage here, but being mostly fine. The problem with South Prophecy is it 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 really asks a lot of our black mana. So it's not like we can go South Prophecy, find Blood Creep, persist easily. We have 4 damage, plus Shadow Prophecy, that's 6. We are 10, 10 is a lot of life. What is this? Persisting Douthy? No. Wow, I... Okay, ah... Uh... If they have a removal for this Dwarf token, we are dead. Regardless, so let's try. <laughs> I could play South Prophecy, try to hit a removal spell, but I don't think that's a winning line. They have a, a removal here for sure, and if it's even like another Orcish Bowmaster, we are so dead. Yeah, we cannot beat this. That turn one Ragaman with no answer. Our hand was decent. Maybe South Prophecy is not a good card in this matchup. Thinking about it. So bad, so bad versus Douthy. Hmm, maybe I messed up. Still, this feels like a very bad matchup, and the Fury. Actually, probably banning Fury was good for. Is even worse for creativity because Fury, as I mentioned, Fury was a sorcery speed removal spell. 
now they have more instant speed ones of course you can grind them a bit better without the fury you can go for the like fables and so on but we didn't have that those kind of draws this two and two four two six this is eight damage okay not attacking with Douthy. does it matter what do we have exile with Douthy lightning ball okay okay Good enough. Ah, okay. Well, it's only 3 2, which is fine for a deck that's dead. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was fun. This deck is fun to play. Just so the classic, sometimes you don't have, you feel like you don't have much choice, but uh, it's also like you can't really play it as a slow, grindy jam deck. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, if you like it, please like, just subscribe, leave a like, comment something like, hey, I, I really like the deck. That's a nice comment to, to leave. And I will be here tomorrow with another video. Maybe not, because I may be taking a break during New Year's Eve and so on. Who knows? You will find out. Okay, bye.